Hello and welcome. In this video lesson, the step-by-step -step to perform the oriented startup of the CFW900 drive will be presented. The HMI keypad is the main mean of interaction between the device and the user who will perform the programming. For this reason, let's take a look at the roles of the elements that compose it. The USB connector is placed on the top of the HMI and is available for computer connection. This key refers to the ask function and it's used to cancel a programming that you don't want to complete or to return from a menu item. The question mark has the purpose of getting help. When you press it, an explanation text pops up regarding the content pointed out on the HMI screen. The up and down arrow keys, also known as increment and decrement, are used for navigation through the menus and to change the values of a given parameter. The navigation also happens through the right and left arrow keys. Besides that, you're also used to move the pointer when editing parameter values or to switch between different screens. The Enter key placed at the center of the navigation keys is used for accessing a selected menu or for saving an altered content. The following keys have their operation controlled by the driver's parameter configuration. It means that when the local mode is selected, all the instructions and reference will be done through the HMI. This key switches the motor's direction of rotation between direct and reverse. The local remote key allows the switching between local control and remote mode control according to the driver's configurations. The jack function is used for machinery startup procedures, maintenance or manual position control. If enabled when it's pressed, the motor spins at a low speed condition, so the user can check the machine's operation and go through the aforementioned situations. The stop key turns the motor off. It is also used for the manual reset if a fault occurs or if any of the driver's protection actuates. The run key starts the motor. Now that we know the purpose of each keypad key, let's learn how to perform the oriented startup. This is the first screen that the drive will show. Press Enter to access the main menu. Navigate with the decrement key and select Assistance. Press Enter to access it. And Enter again to access to start the oriented startup as it follows. Now that we are accessing the automatic oriented startup routine, we must select the language of the menus. Choose the proper language and press enter to move on. On the next screen, set the date and time by selecting yes if necessary. Otherwise, just move on to the next step. Select the type of the CFW900 power supply and move on. If necessary, adjust the rated voltage through the navigation keys. Then, press Enter to accept the value. Select the overload type taking into account the driver's application. Choose between normal and heavy duty and move on. The switching frequency may be kept as the default value, except in special application cases. Now select the type of the motor to be driven by the CFW900. It may be an induction or a permanent magnet motor. 
In this example, we will proceed with the induction motor because it's the most widely used. Considering this color control type, we move forward with the startup. On the motor data, after choosing the power unit, inform the rated power described on the nameplate of the motor to be driven. Besides the power, also provide other motor nameplate data. Rated voltage, rated current, rated frequency, pole pair number, rated speed, nominal efficiency, nominal power factor, and severity factor. After that, all the motor nameplate data has been entered. Now, just provide the motor ventilation system and press enter again. That's it. Now just go back to the initial screen. Your CFW900 frequency inverter is ready to recognize the motor attached to it. Please follow Egg on the social networks, access our YouTube channel and subscribe to receive notification about products, webinars and video lessons. For more information, visit our website.